So that was a little bit about the idea of the exponent. Let's go into some of its properties, if you will. Um, some nice things about these exponents. Well, let's talk about the difference between these two. Um, I'll put this up. Minus two squared and two squared. <clears throat> Are those two the same? Are these two the same? They're not, right? This one here, this one here is minus two times a minus two. Now you go into your multiplication. They have the same sign, and when you multiply, that product's gonna be positive. Are you sure? Positive. Down here, only the two is being squared. You can kind of see it like there's a one multiplied out front. I don't usually show it that way, but some people like that. So this is a minus two times two. And that is gonna get you a minus four. So you gotta be real, real careful about your parentheses. If the minus is inside the parentheses, that's a repeated copy of minus two. Mm -hmm. If you're given minus two to the second power, that's two times two, and then minus one times that. Okay. All right. So we're getting into this a little bit, okay? What I want to do is I want to write my exponent in expanded form. Um, and this time I don't want to evaluate because I want to get into something. Two to the third power is two times two times two. Two to the second power is two times two. Two to the first power, that's two. Oh, sure. Um, and two to the zero, what's that? It's a one. Good stuff, good stuff. You could see, you could see this is one times that, although I don't like to show it that way. And one times that, okay. Here there's three twos, one one. Here there's three twos, one one. Here there's one two, one one. <clears throat> and here there's no twos, but you still got your one. All right, so this isn't, when we get some properties of exponents, I'll be able to show you a little better about why anything to the zero power is one. All right, so now that we've gotten an idea about what these exponents are, we can do some order of operations. And this time, in our order of operations, we're gonna have a term with exponents. So let's go ahead and exercise these guys. You guys remember them? Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Sure. PEMDAS. Do we have any parentheses? Yes. So we go inside those parentheses. Remember how we work this hierarchy of operations. It's from inside out, left to right, down your son. Yeah. So I go inside those guys. I see that I have two numbers. I have some subtraction. So then I'm gonna subtract, because the signs are different. Here my five is bigger in absolute value, so that's gonna be a minus three. Tee hee, tee hee. And then on the outside, I'm gonna leave everything the same. My operation was multiplication. My operation's still gonna be multiplication. Now I got two to the third. So if we're following this order of operations, uh, wrote like they want us, um, What's next? Do I have parentheses? Yes. So I go inside those parentheses. Is there anything I can do? No. Okay. Leave them alone. Move down. Exponents. Awesome. Two to the third. That's two times two times two. Yeah? Or eight. Great. Minus. Ooh. Hey. Our operation here is addition or subtraction. Here it has to be subtraction. So we're gonna take care of this multiplication first in our hierarchy. I'm gonna do that on the next step. 
don't want to step any skips here. Three times a minus three. I'm only changing one dang thing from my line. All right, all right, fine. So then what do we take care of now? Parentheses, we go inside. Is there anything we can do? No. Exponents, took care of them. Now we're down to multiplication. Ah, it appears that we have some. Do those have the same sign? No. Yes. No. Yes. Which is it, no or yes? <laughs> yes, that's a minus three times a minus three. So it's gonna be a positive nine. Fine, plus nine. Ah, I guess I should have put that in black. This whole example, it's in black and blue. Painful. Good stuff, good stuff. Now what I wanna talk about is the operation on the outside. Yeah, um, it was subtraction here. See how this was multiplication? This is subtraction. So the minus and minus made plus, and the operation is still addition. Remember, addition and subtraction, they go together. They're the same operation. Division and multiplication, they go together. They're the same operation. And I'm gonna bring down that eight. Great. Finish him. Yeah. Um. Eight and nine, what's that? 17? Sure. 17? And then what? You do. A box. And a flower. Hey, wait. That's not a flower. That's a weed. What kind of weed is that? Yeah, that's right. It's a dandelion. And you know why? Because these are the kind of problems that you wish for.